in this video tutorial I am going to create a wedge block so first thing is that you need to verify the units the given unit of the drawing are in inches so you make sure in the status bar the IP as inches pound second is selected go to sketch and I am going to make the sketch on my right plane then go to the line tool draw sketch like that and close the sketch we started the sketch from this origin and close the sketch at the origin now I'm going to give the dimension to this sketch so this dimension is given as 4 this dimension is given as 0.45 and dimension for this line and this angle the angle between them is 30 degree and dimension from this point to this origin and make a horizontal dimension this is a position dimension it's 0.75 and the angle between this line and this line make it here it's given as 45 and from here to here this dimension is given as 1 sorry 1.4 now as you see the sketch is turned into black and in the status bar is showing fully defined so now our sketch is fully defined, fully defined meaning we don't need any more dimension to define this sketch and exit this sketch. Go to normal view. I'm sorry, go to isometric view and extrude this sketch. I'm going to select uh, mid plane for the end condition and for the dimension this is 2 and now we needed to make a cut select the sketch tool and then we needed to select this top surface for our sketch plane and make it normal we needed to draw square and the dimension of the square is 1 and now I am going to add a relation between this line and this line and make them equal because we are going to add the scale and then we needed to mark the dimension for this sketch the position dimension for this uh, so from here to here is 0.5 and from here to this region this dimension is given as 1.15 and exit the sketch now we need to make the extruded cut and the depth for this cut is given as 0.65 and click ok we draw this cut now we needed to make an other cut on this surface and make it normal select the corner rectangle draw rectangle then I am going to give the dimension so this is given as 1.5 this height is given as 1 from this point to this point it's given 1.25 from here to this edge it's given as 0.25 and exit the sketch now rotate the model or you can do it from here isometric and then make sure this sketch is selected select student cut and through all click ok now we needed to make another hole on that surface normal view circle draw circle like that the diameter of the circle is given as 0.5 from this point to this edge this position dimension is 0.65 
and from this point to this edge this dimension is given as 0.5 and exit the sketch now we needed to make the extruded cut and again select through wall make sure for the direction so if this arrow is in that direction it's not cutting any material here because there is no material if i click ok it will say rebuild errors cannot locate end of features so we need to make sure the direction is in the direction of the cut the, the direction in which we want to make the material removed and click ok and isometric view